What's up everyone, welcome back to Poke Central. Now in this video, there's no new plushies behind me, just this is more of a news video, an update kind of video. Um, before I get into it, I'm really sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been extremely busy and my updating program or editing program that I used, it just, it just didn't work on me. So I tried to do a new one, that one didn't work, but I got my old one to work, so I'm gonna keep on posting. Thank you so much for 48 subscribers. I will be doing a 50 subscriber special, so share my channel with your friends, like this video, subscribe. And let's get on to the main reason I posted this video. Alright, I posted this video because Pokemon just released the four Burning Shadows promos. Because I'm going to the pre-release, so I, I want to know which ones I would want to get, even though you don't get to choose. So I'm going to be going over with them with you guys, and explaining them, reading everything from the website. So you're going to see like the actual picture from the website and I'm just going to be reading that and I'll link in the description to the website where you can find this and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right, number 1 is Sriper. Sriper is a psychic type Pokémon you can really sink your teeth into. This basic Pokémon's venomous fang attack does 30 damage and leaves its target poisoned. The more attack be the attack becomes even more toxic due to Sriper's more poison ability. Which adds extra damage, which adds an extra damage counter to all your opponent's poisoned Pokemon between turns. It can especially be tricky to retreat your Pokemon in pre-release tournaments without a wide variety of trainer cards, such as a Switch or a Float Stone, available, which makes special conditions such as Poisoned even more effective. Whether you add Sriper to a Psychic type deck or have other ways. To leave your opponent's Pokemon poison, Sriper can be a great card to build a whole deck around. So Sriper, in my opinion, is the best promo out of the four, but I will go into more depth once all four promos are done. The second promo is Crabominable. The Stage 1 Crabominable can wallop your opponent's active Pokemon in two hard-hitting ways. For only one fighting energy, you can deliver 80 damage with its Gusty Hammer attack, but watch out, because if Crabominable has already taken damage, Gusty Hammer make, makes it worse. Then give your target the boost with Double Stomp and attack that and attack that can do up to 160 damage. That's enough to take out almost any Pokemon that's not a GX. So, Crabominable is okay. It does take one fine tip energy to do 80 damage, but if you have damage counters, you do less. And then Double Stomp takes three fine type energies, and it does 80 damage, and then for each heads, and you flip two coins. So that's that's okay, but I would rather, so far I would rather have Surviper over Crabominable. One more thing with Crabominable is that it has a four colorless energy retreat cost, which, if you're going to plan on retreating it, might not work out so well since you don't have that much energy. The third promo is Zygarde. Pokemon like Zygarde are always great in pre-release decks. It's a basic Pokemon with plenty of HP, and its land crush attack uses only colorless energies, so it's easy to slip into any deck. If you can build a deck that, that can provide the energy requirements of Zygarde's core enforcer attack, you'll be able to hit for a massive 150 damage, enough to take out any other Zygarde in one hit. So, with Zygarde, it's a dragon type, which I love dragon types. It has a lot of HP, but its close encounter attack is not... It's all, it's all right, because it's just... I, I don't like it, because it uses two different energies, and that's going to be hard to put in a 40-card deck for a pre-release tournament. But if this is just for a 60 card deck, then it's a really good card, 150 damage. And if I do get this promo, I won't be that happy, but I might still use it just for the land crush attack. The last and final promo is Beware. The decks built for pre-release tournaments include only 40 cards, so, that, so attacks that deplete your opponent's deck, like Beware's mix-up, are all the more valuable. If your opponent can't draw a card at the beginning of their turn, you win. And it's easier to make that happen with Beware's mix-up attack, which is two colorless energies. And Beware can also go on the offensive with its tantrum attack, which does 120 damage, but leaves Beware confused. So I don't have that much negative about Beware, only that um, it gets confused by its tantrum attack, and it does three colorless energies. So that's a little, a little expensive. 
but mix up is definitely good i would use it if i do get that promo um and yeah that's pretty much it for all four promos in my opinion i prefer surviper the most just because crabominable it's not my favorite because it's three fighting type energies and unless i get like a marsh shadow gx and and crabominable then i'll make a fighting type deck but probably won't happen um zygarde i'll be okay with but i don't i don't want it beware i don't really want it but i'll be fine with that too and obviously surviper i want the most so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did please smash that like button subscribe um new videos will be out next week i'm going to be at my cousin's house there's no wi-fi there but i will pre-record as much videos as i can so catch you guys later peace out